The Mariana Crow can only be found on Rhoda. That sound a sign of progress, the population peaking in the 1980s at over a thousand. It's been at a stable 200 since 2015. It's certainly like a positive that the population stayed stable over the years. Phil Hannon is the research coordinator for the San Diego Zoo's rear and release program on Rhoda. He says feral cats and an unknown disease targeting year old birds are some of the main causes for the decline. So each year we intend or we, do, we pull eggs um, or chicks from the wild and raise them for release the following year. So each year we collect a dozen to 15 birds and also release a dozen to 15 birds. And one of those birds, A-O-W-Y, an acronym for the colors of the leg bands used for tracking, is the first captive reared crow to successfully reproduce in the wild. And this month, she raised her second child, Y-O-B-A, who's now two months old. The oldest crow recorded is 18 years old. Henry Fandel is the co-director of the University of Washington's Mariana Crow Recovery Project. We've released 50 hand-reared crows into the wild over the last, or since 2018, and um, none of them, though many of them are breeding and attempting to, to create offspring, uh, only one bird has, and it's just the same bird. He says wild crows are more successful in breeding. This crow is one of the first ones to be released uh, into the wild that all of the groups that have been released since will just need a few, a few more years to figure it out before they are also uh, successful. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Rhoda.